Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon where we're flying like a bird above our park and we end up staring at this freaking marvel piece of a water ride. Now, um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is unheard and unseen of. <laughs> Look at this. A Cursula 87, which is a high <laughs> excitement rating for a uh, log fume, which I personally think is just an achievement on its own. Now, this is all pretty cool, but look at this. We got our cash burning in our pocket and we need a coaster to build, which I would love to be somewhat around in this area and then, you know, fill up a bit over here. Maybe even do some cool stuff over here. Like, how about, you know, just, just a suggestion. Going through the loop, hmm? Maybe even twice? Nah, twice, I mean, twice might be overdoing it, but, you know, going through the loop once. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't mind. But, um, yeah, before we get into that, let's do a quick pri oh, <laughs> pricing check. Yeah, let's leave the guests on for that. Now, over here, everything is looking rather full and well filled up. Same over here. Yeah, there's still folks on that tower. Same over here. I mean, that's just freaking amazing. It made us 20 grand plus, and there's still folks going on it. So, pricing seems fine. Um, then the va Ooh, vandalism is rather bad, actually. I already see a bench, like, over there. Does that mean that we need an extra guard? Oh, it could be, actually. Could be that we need an extra guard. Oh, ooh, wait, yeah, no. Oh, hold on. There. Wow. Man, I'm having my hawk's eye on uh, today, so we're definitely going to spot everything. <laughs> Alright, that might come and bite me in the behind, because, of course, the interwebs always sees more than I do. But look. Alright. Yeah, it looks to be that those were the only cases, though that's like three cases too many, but still. Now then, um, now that we got this done, uh, let's get the view back to normal, like that, and plan our next coaster. Our next coaster is going to be the flying roller coaster. If we were to look at only pricing, it would be the vertical coaster, but it's going to be the f flying coaster, because as you can see, the flying coaster can't go that high. This one can go to the sky and beyond. Same for this one. I mean, this can even go even higher. So, yeah, this is the one that can go the lowest. And since we have a massive hill over here, I kind of want to utilize that a little bit. Even though, and I know, this coaster isn't the best suited for crazy heights. Might sound strange, but it really, I mean, you can get this too extreme well, quite easy, at least. So far, I, that's what I've found. Now then, um, for this train station, huh? I want that to be somewhere around over here, you know, like, on this line of tiles. And then, I actually would like it if it were going below the path. I think it would be most easy if this were to go underground, below this plateau over here, and then in this direction, and then have a lift going up the hill. That would be ideal. Let's see if we can get that sorted, right? I mean, let's just let's just start building, and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think that that is a pretty solid reasoning for coaster building. <laughs> let's just see how it goes, huh? <laughs> Really well thought of method. Anyway, uh, we need to curve this, go like this. Then we need to engineer an S bend backwards. Yes. And then build the station like this. Come on. Trees, bloody trees, all of you be gone. Wait, hold on a second. This is. Alright, that's lining me up rather well. Um. We'll just like move this forward to max length, really. That's what we'll do. To see how it goes from there. Alright. There. I don't really know, do I? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so we need to lower that too. Oh, that is max station length. Alright, good. Um, then the exit. We need to hook that up over there as well. So, we are... Oh, bloody tree be gone. Uh, we're gonna lower the exit into the ground there, like that. 
And then the entrance is going to be on the other side, right over there. Which does mean that the queue will be uh, at the start on the ground. I don't mind that really. It's just, you know, a thing I noticed. I noticed lots of things. So Then, because we are above ground, we might as well get ourselves back to regular viewing. Oh, hold on a second. What is the issue? Uh, it's just that. Right, okay. So far, so good. Now, this, I mean, let's just see. No, it's not working. If I were to heighten this up by one, you know, just make one of these. Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, right, so we gotta have that. I mean, that's pretty much just a given, you know? Now, over here, I mean, right now we're at height 28, and as I said, this coaster doesn't really lend itself for, you know, being the great height adventurer and all that. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're gonna... Ooh, an inline twist. Yeah. We're gonna do this and then let's see if no if we can pull this one off. We can. And then what we need is to go down by one. No. <laughs> now the roller coaster is of course one in the way. That wouldn't work. It's a shame really. If I were to lower this by one, then I would have to pull the whole shenanigan just the back one. I wouldn't mind doing that, really. If that is what it takes to get this thing, you know, to get that cool track piece on the go. I think it was to the left? No. <laughs> of course, why would I choose the right one first? There. Okay, so this, I would say, is a pretty solid start of what could potentially be an Imba Awesome Coaster. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're gonna we're, we're going we're gonna go above that one pretty pretty easily, but Now if I were to do another corkscrew right now, then that would be a bit well, you know <laughs> That wouldn't really work out so well. Let's put it like that. So oh, and that's also not going to work out so well Let's just do a helix down small There Oh, and then there's of course the roller coaster in the way. I mean, why would anything work right at first, right? Then we could do a. Oh, uh, but then uh, game. <laughs> okay, um, let's rethink this for a moment. What do I want to achieve? Okay, so we can't do that either. We need. What we need is a helix down large piece, and then just some. Curvature, no. That ain't gonna work. Uh, what I could do, no. Can't do that either. Have I seriously got myself stuck in here? I do a half loop. Yeah, that, that brings me up higher than... Right, so the only option I see here is to do a corkscrew to the other side. Because otherwise we're gonna go crazy high when it comes to support issue. How, hold on a second, how cool would this be? Okay, that's not gonna work, so this is the only option that I see here. I don't mind it that much, I'm just saying, you know, that is the only thing I think is feasible for this coaster. Now, I'm also aware that we don't really have a on right photo section, but now we do. Right, so far so good, huh? Um, can I do a half loop? Yeah, but that one would go down, of course. So I don't, I should not want to have a half loop. And we are at height 16, which I don't know where. Where are we going to? Okay, yeah, right, all right. I thought that maybe we would hit the, uh, you know, this side of this corkscrew, but that's not what's going to happen. We would hit the other side. You know, the other side. <laughs> um, so right now, at height 16, we could do a curve over here, for example. What I also want, by the way, with this uh, coast is to go un into the underground, so... Just, you know, stating my goals here. And then, right now, we could get away with a... 
Well, we could do either a half loop. Could do that. Then we could do like another loop, really. Oh, that would act that wouldn't be so bad, really. I don't mind having like two loops in one. Of course, bloody trees freaking move it. And then we what we could then do is like why oh, I probably didn't click on it. There. That is cool. Look at that. That is like a freaking Wait, what? Why is the coaster in the way? I thought we had more or less the same setup over here. Um, am I missing something? To the right? Oh yeah, that works. Okay, well fine, we'll go, we'll go to this side. That's not bad. I mean, I don't mind if there is more tracks over there. So... Oh, but yeah, no, I see what I'm missing over here right now. That is that we didn't really end with a a corkscrew on that section, so... But this works. I don't really mind making a corkscrew, really. I mean, the, I don't think that the speed is that great on this one. So, we'll, yeah, we'll do it like that. No. So, right now, we're also already on our good side, which is... Oh, no, I mean, our good side, you know? <laughs> we are uh, up, upside uh, up. <laughs> Not upside down, upside up. There, yeah, th and and that's that's good. I mean, I don't mind that because then we can do helixes and all that. Now, right now, there the the whole thing doesn't have an underground section. Should shall we change that? Yeah, we are. We are going to change it. Um, I'm going to do a helix down large. Oh yeah, of course. No, no, <laughs> we're not because there's a roller coaster in the way. We can change that though. Um, there. Now, we could do a helix down large, I believe, because now we can, yes, look, and then if we do another helix down large, tree in the way, <laughs> which of the <laughs> gajillion that are out there, <laughs> alright, looking good, I think right now that we are at a pretty solid point to just take a quick Peak ski in the underground. We'll go down, not steep, just you know, gentle. We'll gently go down here. And right now we're at height eight. Right now we're at height seven, which means that we can go pretty much anywhere. Look, perf. Oh no, not perfect. Um, I see park border stuff over there, uh, which I kind of forgot a little bit about, you know, not much, a little bit, <laughs> but a little bit can be enough, um, right, well that, that ain't looking so bad really, now if we were to, of course I want to resurface at some point too, right, I mean, that's what all the coasters usually do, oh, but that, no, that might be a little bit too early for resurfacing. So, why don't we drop down? I don't, I don't think that's a good idea there. Hmm. Well, what can we do with this? We'll just have it go straight for a little bit. I mean, it isn't that bad to have straight pieces in a coaster track. Why can't I? Oh. Sure, I mean, why would anything I design ever work right at once, right? I mean, you know, it, w it would be nice for a change, but yeah, I don't expect the impossible, huh? <laughs> Game? I wish I could just build through. No, ah, that would be lame. Then there would be no challenge. Um, right, so, if we were to slope this, then yes, and I don't really know, but in terms of speed, I believe that there is should still be plenty in this coaster to do it like this. And then, another one. I believe that this one, yeah, that one's also the one that continues on, so... Right... Now, right now, we are going away from an important thing, which is the... 
uh, loop that I wanted to go through. I mean, we have made our own loop that coasters can go through. There's also a loop over there that we can go through, which we haven't done so. Ooh, wow, and we're also tugging through the supports there. We are upside down right now, though, which does mean that we have less options for our track. I don't mind that, really, but I'm just pointing it out there. Oh, there's a, a right entrance? Wow. Okay, so we're, we are actually pretty low already, if that's the case. Uh... No, can't get away with that. I believe that, yeah, that is also going to be an issue. Balls. Now, th I mean, this is where we're trying to maneuver through. Maybe I just shouldn't try that. I mean, in terms of speed, the thing I'm worried about is that we might not have enough speed to do this. Uh, that works. And if I then can't drop just yet. Okay, so far not good. Uh, like this. Uh, right. Oh, hold on a second. This is. No, yeah, um, I'm liking this. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot. Because right now, I could be wrong. Of course, I am totally wrong. I'm miles off with my whole guess and estimation of everything. Oh, that is actually at height 21, is it? Yeah, it is. Right, so this should work then. Does it? Yeah, it does. Nice. Then I went to see... No, can't do that yet. Can't still do that. Three in the way. Look, those are the message. Yes! <laughs> that is cool. A loop through the loop. The only thing I'm worried about is whether or not from height 28 we'll have enough speed to pull it through here. I'm already worried about this section, but just in... Ju no! Oh, crap! I... Oops! Balls! Totally... <laughs> yeah. Good, good you. Now, I what, didn't want to... Come on, game, I'm good. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, for a moment there, I was like in really panic mode, but... I wasn't really that needed, that called for, but still. And we're just going to lift this, just in case it doesn't make it, which, in my eyes, is a very real possibility. So. Then, um, we're going to need to... Yeah, remove trees. I'm game for that. I'm always game for that. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Um, well, what we have, well, we do have a few corkscrew pieces in there. So, because I was about to say, like, I still feel that we're missing a few corkscrews here and there. Um, no, 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 no. This, then perhaps this, yes, okay, tight curve there, we'll cut down some of this green stuff, you know, <laughs> totally pointless stuff. If I were to do a loop in right now, would that make any sense? Yeah, of course there's trees in the way, there always are trees in the way. Uh, if I were to do a half loop right now, it would go to high 22, which is 2 below that point. I could do that, preferably. I drop the coaster down a little bit more till that point. And then we'll do a loop. To the other side, actually, if uh, at all possible. Right now, we are going at height 11, which is more or less at height 10 even. Which is like nice below this coaster, which I don't mind. Now, right now, we are once again in the underground. Um, raise or lower the land. Would that be just this tiny pip over here? No, it is not. In that case, we're not going to do it. Um, 
what I would need really is, you know, what I would want, let, let me put it like that, is to get back here once more, and then go like this, you know, like, hello, and then see that we get back to the station, really. How can I arrange that in a nice manner? I mean, I could go up over here right now. That wouldn't do it, so we'll need to dig a hole. I am above ground right now. That doesn't lead me to anywhere in particular. That does lead me to something in particular. I don't know if it's any good though, but... Uh, it is down small. No. Okay. Um, next plan. Now, of course, what I could always do is like this. That works as well. All right. Good. Tree in the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There is actually a tree in the way. <laughs> For once, the game isn't lying. Again, the game almost never lies, but. Right, so... Well, actually, I mean, wh why would we want to do any further shenanigans? We can just now go towards the deep underground, which where I wanted to go. Do the drop. Then have a very, very mellow curve around like this. Then go up to, say, like, night four. Do another very, very, very mellow curve, and now things are starting to become a little bit more critical because over miles off. Right. So that means that we need to do it like this. Then we'll go up. Then, ta da! Nice! Right. I want to know what the ratings are on this coaster. I think the track isn't that elaborate, really. I mean, okay, there are there is quite a bit of underground, but we, I mean, the things that we're missing, for example, are like big helix uh, sections. There are quite a few loops in it, though, and along with that, also um, two corkscrew parts. It also isn't that much. If the coaster, for some reason, turns out to be not that great, and we need to edit it, which is, of course, a possibility, and what I might add is a few corkscrew sections here and there. So we need to keep a close eye on where the speeds are low and where they're not. Wow, okay, so the speeds are pretty high at that point, actually. Right. Speeds are crazy high through over there. Same as over there. And then this is like the low point section. Which it isn't making, which I was afraid of it wouldn't do. Okay, so this this needs a rethink. Basically we're lacking speed and we're going too fast through over here. I mean, I'm not happy with this. Not at all, in fact. So we're going to change this. That's the first. Um, we're going to change it so that there's just a little bit more track on the whole thing. We need to go to height 21 anyway, so we might as well take a sweet time doing it. Uh, right now, I believe if I were to go like this, and then shabam. There. I don't really know if this is like that great a plan, seeing how, you know, from what height we come, these curves might not be that good for it. Though then again, I could of course bank pretty much all of them, I believe. Yeah, I believe I can actually. I believe I can get away with banking everything. Which is what we're going to do. No, 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 I can't bank it all. Crap. Well, I guess it's better than to have it like this. We'll have to see what, what the G's do on this one. Um, 
Oh, but that still hasn't solved anything about the, this whole issue over here with this set of section of tracks. Right. Basically, what we need is a. This just needs to be gone. So let's see. I mean, this is just a bad idea, you know this. So. I mean, I'm, I like this section here, I mean, I don't mind that. It's just that the whole way how we're getting towards it isn't good. Now, if I do a corkscrew, we're going down. Oh, that's a... wow! Okay, I like this, yes. And then, if I were to go up here... Oh, there's a footpath in the way, but look at how freaking slick this section is here. Now, I would be able to go up. Nice! You know what we're just going to do? It's cheesy, I know. But I don't really have any better plan for right now. Uh, oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go straight. <laughs> well, that, that's only temporary though, but I don't really have any better plan than to lift this bad boy. So that's what we're going to do. And let's see. Of course, we are going to use our patented lift trick, which does mean, though, that we need to lift this one up and above the height. Oh. Okay, so apparently we cannot go that much higher. Well, then. Now, right now, though, we are more or less going above our very own tracks. Is that good? Well, not really. I guess it doesn't do much harm either, but... It does mean, though, that right now, seeing how speeds are crazy low, what we kind of get away with, really, is... No, 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 no. This. No. One more straight. Oh, I see an issue. You know what we could do then? I can't engineer a thingy backwards, the inline twist. But this is what I have in mind. <laughs> We're gonna do an inline. Uh, I might have gone too far. One. We're gonna do an inline twist. How cool is that? Oh, it doesn't line me up at all, actually. I need to be one higher for that, it seems, because the inline twist will also drop me height by, I don't know, several, it seems. So, inline twist? No. Oh, because of our own tracks. Herp derp, yeah, ball. So that is even more ballsy because that means that we need to do the inline twist before. So that's right right now. And then there is like this crap load of height that we need to deal with. And now it hooks up. Okay. Well, we're gonna see, because this is basically like the second start of the coaster. So there's like this whole section up here, and then it goes back into lift mode up until there. And have I just... No, there is a lift... Oh, phew! <laughs> I thought for a moment I had forgotten the lift section there, which would of course make this whole thing pointless. So, now, I'm pretty sure that it will make the test ride. I want to know what the speeds are through these sections. So... We're gonna keep an eye on at least this part, and if these extra curves and all that slows the, it down enough, then it will also go at more reasonable speeds through the other section that it goes there. That seems, at least to me, it's still a little bit too quick. I could, of course, also add a brake over here, right? I mean, I could make this a small curve. So far, so good. And then into the corkscrew, and now onto the lift. Which is, yeah, right here. 
then a very slow turn around. Yes. So far so good. I like it. And then <laughs> nice. Alright. That might also be a little bit too quick. Wow. What have I just created there? What on the freaking earth is this coaster? This ain't good. We need to break it r badly. Breaking bad? <laughs> Cheap pun, not intended. Uh, we need to add brakes over there badly, really. I also don't know... I mean, what are, what are the Gs? Ooh, this is high. 4.3 is really high. If this is, like, extreme, which there's a good chance of it being, then I probably think it's the latter section that's causing it, you know? The one over here, where they go th with extreme speeds through the loops. Calculation time takes forever. It could very well be very high. Uh, it could even be too extreme. I might have to tune this one. We'll see. For now though, we're just going to set it up, you know, like that. Assume everything's good. Taking very, very long. <laughs> Man, this is getting me anxious, really. Come on, game. <laughs> I want to know. Now, yeah, it is, it is, it is too extreme. Right, so let's find out where are the high spikes. I believe it is the vertical Gs that are causing this. There could be the cause, same as over there. Letter section actually doesn't have the most bad section in it. This is, I mean, this way you see over here is this section actually. So, um, we need a break in here. That much is pretty much a guarantee. But then there was another peak I saw. Which is like, now that is the letter section. Uh, this peak. Which would be... Here, I guess. Yeah, it probably would be that half loop. Though this looks to be, like, acceptable. I think it's really these pieces. And if we just add a break in here... I mean, what the thing is, the speed at which they go through here is, like, 45 kilometers, right? So, if I were to just add a break which first of all goes to 43 then goes to the one below it 35 now the crucial question will be will it actually make it through i mean at 35 it should go down 30 ish 27 ish and then do the rest let's get these height numbers out there this is height 21 uh, this is height 18, 19, 19, I might have to put a lift somewhere in here, otherwise we might be into trouble. Maybe I should have done that at the start really. That is lame though, because that does mean that there's like a crap load of dead sections really in the coast eh? Yeah, the G's should be a lot more. Look at that. Look, all of them lowered pretty good. So that, no more odd spikes. The one thing I want to know now is... Ah, yeah, no, no, no. It's pulling through. It's pulling through. Still has some decent speeds. Right. But, yeah, I mean, of course... And this is like the restart of the coaster, so... This is all acceptable. You know, this. Right, um... I believe right now that we have a good coaster, one that's approved and certified. So we are going to give this uh, the approved and certified certificate of um, approvingness. Um, ooh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, but that's in the la last section, and I believe that the G's over there. Yeah, they never. This is the loop, you know. This, this, this odd spiky thing there, that the shark tooth. It's not above four, so... Anyway, we're going to call this... Um, the... You know, we are going to call this... Um, the... Certificator. Right. 
Look at that. I mean, I don't see any 4 over here anymore. The lateral G seems fine to me. High top speeds, lots of drops, lots of tr special track pieces. What is here that would be bad, right? <laughs> well, other than almost 4 Gs on your, <laughs> on your body, yeah. Well, the thing is, I think it was 4.1, we dropped it to 3.9. We had to drop it any lower. Where would the highest point of it be? Could be at a lot of places, really. That is it. And that is that section. This one. Which is rather bad, because that's going to be a difficult one changing this. Because <laughs> it's already barely pulling through. Look, you'll see, when it pops up over here, see? That is when... I don't know. Oh man, really? To extreme? Right, so we do need to break it then over here, I guess. What is the speed at which it goes? Hold on a second, hold on. I want to know what the speeds are at which it's going through that thingy. I mean, all the other ones are below 3.9. They're all at like 3.5. This is it. This is the evil thing here. So, we're going to find out the velocity. Uh, let's see. It is like on the third column of rocks and blocks. So, it goes over here. And this is like the top speed, which is like, I don't know, 90, 85? If I were to drop this to 80, then, well, for one, this whole malarkey over here with the thing, I don't know, really, I really feel like, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're going to edit this one, that, that much is it. First, this, let's see, these are special, uh, I could, of course, what I could do is, I'm not really sure on it, but let's just remove these. What I could do, of course, is add a lift, then do the uh, inline twist, you know, the both of the inline twists. And then, no. Alright, so there's a reason why that won't work. What I could also do, of course, is just extend it one further and then do the half loop. That would instantly leave me at the right height. Which means that the inline twist doesn't need, like, a, no, a weird dip right afterwards. There. And I could even lift, uh, I could even lift this piece. That would shave off some of the G's, really. Then, of course, to further it along, we could then add a lift there. Right. All right. So, now, if this turns out to be too extreme again, which it could be... Hey, by the way, handy dude, why are you not... Oh, all right. <laughs> there! Now, clean this up, Flix. Uh, no, but if, if it doesn't, if it, if it still doesn't make it, I could of course just heighten this whole loop up till it is just barely making it, lowering the G's tremendously. In any case, uh, I think right now that we got this coaster fine-tuned to the point where it is awesome. Ah, it's already awesome, <laughs> it's just that the ratings <laughs> also need this awesomeness. Uh, I don't want a big ugly staircase. You know what? Let's see if we can just... Okay, so... Maybe not like that, but... Alright. There. And then... Lower you. Alright, alright. It was already past the point. What are the vertical Gs? They are a lot lower. Look at that. I mean, of course, there's still these spikes. And this could be like a 3.7, actually. But that's... Lower than a 3.9. Maybe the, the lateral Gs are also a little tad bit too high. I'm not seeing them really spiking anywhere oddly above 2 uh, really, so... I don't think the lateral Gs really are the issue. And if it were, I was only concerned for these curves, but clearly I don't need to be now. Yeah. So... 
<laughs> yeah, and then they end up back there. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so let's hook this up. That works. And then go up there. Oh, that hooks it up. Very nice. Very nice. I approve. Right. Um, ratings. Go on, calculate. There, we shaved off even more G's now. We didn't shave off any top speed or any drops, we just lowered the G's. I think we could lower it even a little bit further by heightening this up one more even. And I wouldn't mind doing that really, then... Still to... Uh, balls game Y. I'm getting annoyed now by the fact that I can't seem to get it right. There's also this, this is so, wait, hold on a second, whoa, there's one actually going above the four. How does that even, I, hold on, that is over here, right? Yeah, that's that one. I don't get it, <laughs> we didn't have that in the very first test, right? It can't really be the lateral G, they're all below two. Except for the very last one over here. That is like right before the exit. Uh, anyway, uh, first this. I mean, this also needs doing. So you know, let, let's get this sorted as well, right? Uh, let's raise this by a smidge. Then let's uh, let's actually enhance the view for this. Oh man, what a pleasure to work at! Right now, let's get this all back. I don't really want too much hover uh, paths, so we're gonna stick close to the terrain. In any case, I'm going to try and see if it could be the lateral G's, you know, for this coaster. So, now we're going to do some experimenting with it. Now, vertical G's again. Can I see that? Yeah, there is this odd spike, which I don't like. So, what I could do, of course, to remedy that is, well, there is, this is a really high one, which it was going through, yeah, but that's like, I don't know, I don't get it, really. Why is it so high? <laughs> I mean, game, why is it so high? Yeah, I feel I feel like it might be in this la last section over here. So we're going we're going to take a look at that. Uh, it goes to over here and then shabam! This is it. This is where it happens. This is where things go badly. Uh, all right. Yeah, and I see I see where we can add in a break. I also think that at the last piece. That is where the top speed is achieved, it is. So maybe we'll have to lower that then. I mean, maybe it is over here. So we'll, we'll lower this to like, I don't know. I mean, what should we do? Why don't we lower this to... I mean, it goes at 99 right now. So this is more or less where it goes. How about 86, you know? Maybe that will do it. This, of course, is an issue. I do need to get this one to hook up over there. And that is rather important. Hmm. Well, uh, hmm, yeah, <laughs> uh, hold on a second. I'm removing that, but it actually isn't that easy to fiddle in a break over there. So, let's see. I do need one before I could, maybe... Oh! Balls! No! Crap, 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 crap! I don't... No, no, why? Game! Oh, that is annoying. That is really annoying. Like crazy. Balls! I wanted to click on the coaster, not on the freaking path. 
crap. <laughs> All right, uh, retry. Yeah, I need to insert a brake, like, either over here, like, right off, sir. I could, of course, get one in over there. Now, that, that would work, I mean... Going straight like that. Then this is where the brake would be needed, really. Right. So that. Hold on a second. Hold. Hold on a second. If I am to go straight there, then break this to I don't know. 28 kilometers and I don't really need that to be banked so I can just have that be curved and I don't need that to be banked so I can have that be straight and that would hook it up uh, 28 might be a little bit low though perhaps 35 wouldn't be such a bad idea that will take care of a lot of the lateral G's that they'll experience on the latter section because now they'll, the speed will drop to like 70 or so. I still hope that that's enough. Regardless, we're going to assume that it will be and uh, we're going to, well, you know, make the rest of the, like, the exit and all that and it, it, well, complete and integral part of the park. Which means adding you two over there, yes. Which also means adding a new handy dude to this very section there. No, don't mow the grass now. Don't need that, don't need that, don't do it, please. There. And we of course also need a safety mechanic. Now, I am watching you, big brother. <laughs> big damage is watching you. Right. I still feel that that one might actually go quite too fast. We could of course also heighten that one up if this turns out to be not the right move. I really feel actually that that might be what we need to do. Let's come out over there quite good though, but... I mean the thing is if we heighten it even more we need a drop afterwards and we don't really need all the lifts anymore because it will drop down. Right, this is the big section. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow, that, that's a bit, a bit of a drop there in, uh, in terms of speed. And now it goes a lot more gently through there as well. What are the Gs? The vertical ones still got their high point, which is this loop. I could also add a brake over here to lower the speed at which it goes through there. Lateral G's, and that's the one thing that we did it for really, should now all be below 2. No. Wait, what? So, I guess I'm actually missing where the high point is in the lateral G's then. Because I clearly don't see it. Uh, max lateral G's. Oh yeah, of course, it is balls. The negative ones also count, so they are actually right over here. Uh, where is it? In this section. This is where the lateral G's are. And most of them are made. So, I don't think that that is where the badness comes from. Oh, but wait, what? We fixed it! Nice! Right, nice. So it was the end after all. I must admit that this was one of the harder nuts to crack, but we cracked it and now it is open to the public. Intense and extreme, <laughs> but definitely worth uh, to be added to the list of things that we need to build in the park. I mean, after all, it is above six, right? And <laughs> that is, of course, all that counts. So, we do need to assign this a safety mechanic dude. Who are going to trap right at the exit. Which is also situated at the best possible point uh, at this station. Right at the end. So, 
It will truly be for the safety of the coast. Now we are going to name this, and since it was so difficult and it took so long, uh, we are going to call this one... The... Yeah, how are we going to call this one? Yeah, we, we are going to call this one the... Uh, tough Nut. No, uh, <laughs> actually... Tough Nut. Tough Nut. Uh, no, 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 no. We are go we it needs to be a little bit more awesome. We are going to call this... Uh, the... We're gonna call this... The Nutcracker. Because it was a tough nut, right? The Nutcracker. There. And there's actually quite a few guests who like going on it. <laughs> Even though it seems crazy high intense. There's quite a few who like it. Alright, good, good. Now then, what we need to do is color this, and if I look, I see that there is quite a big amount of track that is below the jungle barrier, so to say. And also quite a bit that is above, so this is going to be real important. Grey tracks with a white line, and these supports. No. Um... I can go with this, and then perhaps a black track thingy. Doesn't really look that good either. Perhaps this, maybe even brighter. Maybe if we make the blue a little bit... Uh, we could go with this, and then maybe change these to be like that. Maybe even black. I like the black supports, really. It makes it look good, to be honest. I really like the black supports, in fact. So good that I'm actually considering maybe changing... No, the pink... I mean, not this, but this light pink... Active, I don't know, it has something, you know? We're all up in blues and yellows. This is a different touch and I like it. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. Of course, you lot, you know, <laughs> the trains are going to be very icy colored. This is for the high sections. The lower sections are going to have a very, very heavy, heavily jungle colored theme there. With uh, darker red in it and then heavy, thick brown poles. Yeah, that. This is more or less it. Actually, that is the exact same setup as I had for the Steel Corkscrew one. Can't have it, I'm sorry. We're gonna go with orange and then purple. Okay, maybe the other way around. This purple and then green. Maybe this green. Because the reels are also quite light. This actually also looks quite jungle-esque, you know, so... Alright. I wanna see how this looks if we... Paint it on over here. Oh, we can also have it over there. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. We also need to do the underground sections anyway. Might as well. Alright, yeah, we're gonna do the whole thing here, you know? So we're gonna do it proper. So that means that these need to be colored. These big sections too. Yeah, and the loop as well because, wow. Wow. Yes, indeed. Quite a... Why? I didn't even know we could drag this. Don't need to click for each piece. You can just drag it. Very nice. Still over there. Yeah, alright. Uh, actually, we can also color these. And uh, that loop. And then even this. No, 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 no. That one... That one's gonna go back to the main line, because otherwise it would look weird. Uh, back to you. Yes, so far so good. Alright. Oh, alright. Well, oh. Yeah, okay, so... There are also a few drawbacks to key, to dragging it. I'll fix up those sections in here that I got, <laughs> you know, caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Me, I'm being way too enthusiastic with my spray can. Alright. 
but this is all looking good. Of course, the yellow section. I could even make like a separate color for the underground section, but nah. I feel that that's overdoing it, perhaps. Alright. I'm being careful here, but it's paying off. Alright, so far so good. I don't think there is any crossfire right now that I need to address in particular, so good, good. Anything over here that is like below? That doesn't seem like it. So, oh yeah, no, there is actually. No, 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 that's high 60. Yeah, that's the other coast below it. <laughs> I was thinking that. What? <laughs> so that also below? Right, so let's get the view back to normal and check out how this looks. Ooh, I must admit that this does look rather good. And the guests also seem to like this coaster quite a bit, actually. Well, not in a sense that they all want to go on it, but there are quite a few going on it. Good! Well then, it took a while, <laughs> like a freaking hour, but we finally have ourselves a freaking amazing coaster. It's a bit purple, and it's also a bit white. There isn't that much ice theming to it. It's more in the jungle style in the end, but ah well. I like it, and it is grand on its own merit, and wow, I mean, how has it affected this one? It made this one grand, just by being there. Very nice, wow. I can only look forward to the next coaster, for which we have even more money, due to all the editing and tuning that we had to do. So uh, yeah, but that and more will all be for next time, when we play more Rollercoaster Tycoon.